Hello, welcome back. It's good to see you. This is Carolyn from Carol's Puzzle Corner. Uh, it's been a minute. Well, it hasn't been that long, but um, I feel like it's been a minute since I've uh, had the time to sit down and do, do a couple of videos. So this video is going to be about a little puzzle haul that I did that is from the thrift store. And I think it's really important to include this uh, video, even though there's not a lot of puzzles that I, I purchased. Um, as a nod to all of those out there who exclusively do thrifted puzzles for whatever reason, for financial reasons or because it makes more ecological sense to redo uh, a used puzzle more than once, um, whatever your vibe is, I think that a lot of puzzle channels out there really encourage consumerism and uh, they're dangerous, <laughs> including my own channel because they make you discover new puzzle brands and all that stuff. But I originally started puzzling doing only thrifted puzzles. Um, it didn't occur to me to buy puzzles and just store them somewhere to keep for later use. Uh, it And it wasn't until the pandemic hit and I discovered different puzzle channels that I um, was exposed to different brands that I wanted to try and my mind blew and I was just like I want a puzzle collection the crazy part is guys I don't even know if or how I'm gonna feel about doing the same puzzle twice I have all these puzzles and I don't even know if I'm gonna do them more than once isn't that so wasteful <laughs> anyway that's a different video for a different day so I went to a store called uh, Village des Valeurs or Value Village and it is about a 10 minute walk from my place and I have a budget um, every week for spending money like a, I give myself an allowance and I can spend it on whatever I want. Most of the time I spend it eating, eating out or getting DoorDash but this week I decided to go to the thrift store and I happened to see some puzzles that I needed. So um, comment down below, because I'm about to show you the footage of the uh, video, not of the video, footage of the puzzles in Value Village. I'm about to show you some footage, so comment down below if there's puzzles that caught your eye or brands or um, I was tempted by, see if you can spot it, um, the Ravensburger Villains puzzle. Uh, that's very purpley. I didn't end up taking it, um, but I was tempted by that one. So take a look at the footage and see if there's any puzzles that you would have gone home with. See you soon. Una Dragon puzzle, uh, medium sized. So it has 250 pieces, or it's supposed to anyway. Um, and retail, you know, on Amazon.ca, remember I'm in Canada, so I'm using Amazon.ca. This is uh, $70, a puzzle this size, this exact uh, puzzle. And it is called, it is called, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, it seems to be in good shape. Uh, I got it for $2.99, um, which, you know, I, I will do eventually, and I do want to see if all the puzzle pieces are there. Um, 
So that's the first puzzle that I got. The second puzzle, I'm going to take the elastic band off. I do enjoy Josephine Wall, um, and this is Buffalo, Buffalo Games, Josephine Wall. And this one is called, you would think I would have learned to, The Sadness of Gaia. And I just love all the details. There's a whole bunch of creatures in here, and there's the flag. I don't know if it's meant to be a pride flag, but that's what it reminded me of. And yeah, I just thought it was a really pretty puzzle. Um, this one was $3.99 Canadian. And then I found another Josephine Wall image who, uh, that I enjoyed. And this one is called Aquarius, a thousand pieces. Again, I have no idea if all the pieces are there but I just thought it was a really pretty image. And these two um, Josephine Wall puzzles are good to take, like I'm gonna keep them with in mind of if ever I'm traveling somewhere and want a puzzle to do, I'll take these ones because I don't mind if I lose a piece while I'm traveling since they're already used and I have no idea if the puzzle pieces are still, you know, if, if, if they're still intact. The um, other puzzle that I got, which was really interesting, it's a Gallison puzzle. I got it for $1.99, and it's a two-sided, 250-piece uh, puzzle. Um, and it is by uh, Christian Lacroix in Paris. I think he's a fashion designer. And uh, it's the puzzle itself is called Maison de Jeu. And it's a two-sided by Gallison. I just said that. The box is very nice, very sturdy, very luxurious. And one of the puzzles looks like this, or I guess maybe like this. And then the other side of the puzzle looks like that. The pieces are very big. Um, so it's, it's a nice little puzzle snack. It's only 250 pieces and I don't have anything. The lowest uh, puzzle count that I have is 500, except in wooden puzzles. Um, so I like that I have a 250 piece puzzle that uh, the pieces are nice and big. And uh, you know, to be determined whether or not it's a full puzzle, meaning if there's any missing pieces or not. I'm always wary of buying puzzles that aren't like in little Ziploc bags or um, that are just naked in the box, but all three of these puzzles are naked in the box. There's no packaging in the box. But, you know, I thought, why not? And then I bought two books because my budget was $20. I give myself a spending budget every week on, you know, anything from restaurants to puzzles to whatever else I'm into. Um, and so I bought two books. This one was $1.99 and this, it's a uh, feminist science fiction book. So I thought that would be cool. This one's in English. It's called Goldilocks. And then this one, because I am bilingual and work, I'd say about 90% in French. Uh, this one is a French book to, you know, maintain my my reading level in French. And it is about a woman. It's called, uh, it's by Emily Dubois, La fois où j'ai suivi les flèches jaunes. So it's about a woman who is in a rut and goes, uh, hiking across Spain, I believe. And so this is my receipt from Value Village. And you can see here, I need bifocals. Oh, Sprout has joined the video. It's Sprout, we have to move. Move out of the way. And there I spent $20 on four puzzles and two books, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. So comment down below if you saw any puzzles while I was at the store that you would have liked to have seen more of, um, or if you're working on a thrifted puzzle now. Um, and nods to all of those puzzlers who are diehard, you know, thrift puzzlers. Like I said, I started out like that um, and have morphed into massive consumerism. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be a bye for now. I hope you guys have a great week. And oh, comment down below. What are you having for supper? This is a very important question. I am having, I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm seeing Shania Twain, who's from my hometown. She's from Timmins, Ontario, and that's where I was born and where my family's from. Um, so I'm going to see Shania Twain tonight. So I'm having pizza and salad for supper. What are you having? These are important questions. What's for dinner? All right. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye-bye.